Get the book Align with Your Purpose by Earl Hall. Find and walk in your purpose. Get the answers to your questions about life and how to make it exactly what you want are in this book. This is your chance to stop living in a life you hate. Discover how to manifest the life you actually want. Get Align with Your Purpose now on Amazon, paperback, Kindle, or audiobook. What if you could stop all of your negative thoughts and your self-limiting beliefs and actually start to manifest the life that you want? You need Quantum Neural Manifestation Alignment, or QNMA. This is the ultimate accumulation of the best of the secret, as well as the incredible magic of meditation and hypnosis, all wrapped up in one. Go to the website now, officialqnma.com. That's officialqnma.com. Welcome into the show, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in live to Align With Your Purpose. I'm your host, Earl Hall, broadcasting live on Conversations Radio Network as well as on my Instagram live stream. Welcome, everybody, tuned in over there. Make sure that you do follow me on Instagram. It's just at Align With Your Purpose. Check out the website, www.alignwithyourpurpose.co. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I've been putting a lot of thought into Because of the different people that I watch, the people that I engage with, people that are stuck struggling and not growing fast enough in their businesses, I'm going to be talking today about how to build any business in less than two years. I was a, in 2018, in 2017, in 2016, I was saying things like, and I firmly believed it, in some cases it's still true. It just depends on how much you want to dig in. But I was saying that, look, if you're not willing to put in the next three to five years of with your business, quit today. Because I was that emphatic about it. I was that serious about it that if you're not willing to put in the work that needs to get done in order to build whatever business it is that you're trying to build, because it takes a lot. And I think so many times people get into, you know, they'll watch something on YouTube or they'll watch something on Facebook or something like that or get an email about making money online, about starting a business, about a platform for a business that you can start, you know, and there's so many of them. And I think one of the things that people really get caught up in with business development is not really understanding the work that's involved in it, because it is a lot of work. And I've said before that your cost of entry for most businesses today you know, especially home-based businesses or side hustles or things of that nature, your cost of entry in many cases is production of content. It is uh, producing live streams or doing podcasts or radio broadcasts like I'm doing right now. It's your cost of entry for people to know who you are and what it is that you do, what your skill set is, and what you're actually able to help them with with your product or service. It's important that people get to see you. It's how they begin to know, like, and trust you. It's how you begin to build a tribe. And I've said over and over and over again, if you don't have a tribe, if you don't have a following, there really is no money to be made. And so many times when I look at the different things um, online as far as the different videos and courses that you can take on how to make money online, The biggest part of the whole thing is always missing. They're always showing you the bells and the whistles. You know, they're showing you how great their platform is and how great you can produce videos or all these other these bells and whistles. But so few people are talking about the most important thing about this online presence is that you have to build a tribe. And that's the word that all of us use now. We've used it for years now. Your tribe, the people that follow you, the people that engage with your content, the people that engage with you. It's if you do not have the ability to produce things like video, audio, written word and blogs, images and pictures on Instagram and things of that nature, how are people going to know? what it is that you have the ability to do. So when I started saying this three years ago, if you're not willing to put in the next three to five years um, to build a business, just quit today because it's not going to happen. And even longer, if it's something that you're only going to put in one to two hours a weekend. 
And some people want to build a business on one to two hours a week and think that something's going to happen. And it's not. The one to two hours a week is pretty much what you have to do in order to build content, in order to build tribe. It's that's if you're going to do one to two or five hours a week, spend five hours a week building your tribe by producing content. Hey, Cyrus, I see you over on my Instagram live. Thanks so much for tuning in, buddy. The owner of Conversations Radio Network, where I am broadcasting live here as well. So when I talk about now, and I'm talking to a certain sector of people, I don't think everyone can do this. I think that a lot of people can do this if they actually digged in, and that is build a business in under two years. Now, let me explain to you what I mean by that, because when you're looking to build a business and whatever business you're looking to build, there are a lot of little Things that need to be done. A lot of little things that need to be done. And if those little things don't get done, you're probably not going to have a very good experience. A big part of this is technical ability, hands down. If you do not have the technical ability to go online and use platforms like Instagram and Facebook and you know Twitter and all the other social networks that are out there, if you don't have the technical ability to know how to do these things, if you don't have the technical ability to know the equipment that you need in order to produce these things, something as simple as a webcam or even just your smartphone, and have the ability to create content and put that content online and draw attention to that content, this will be a problem for you. There is no getting around the technology. And so many people that I talk to on a weekly basis in the coaching sessions that I do, they struggle with the technology piece. And it's almost a thing like, oh, this doggone technology, it wasn't like this when I was coming up. And it's like, you know what, That's those are excuses that don't even need to be verbalized. Because they make no, it makes no difference because you either you either are going to do it or you're not. And getting that technical understanding of how to do something as simple as a live stream on Instagram, which is so super simple. I'm doing it right now as we speak. I'm also broadcasting live on an Internet radio station. After all of this is over, I'm going to take this content. This is content production right here. I'm going to take this content and I'm going to redistribute it. I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to put it on Facebook. I'm going to put it on YouTube. I'm going to put it more in my Instagram feed with little bites of certain things that I've said. And these, this, all of these little things, and believe me, there's more. There is much more. But this is our cost of entry to be able to build the business that we say that we want to build. So here's the stupidly ridiculous thing about producing content, especially if you are having trouble with technology. Some of us do. I, I'll be 50 years old this year. I'm just blessed enough that when I was in my teens, you know, back in the 80s, oh my gosh, um, that's when things like, I mean, my first computer was a Commodore 64. Anybody even know what that is anymore? My first computer was a Commodore 64. And this was 1985, 86. You could back in 1985 and 1986, you would purchase a, a modem. And I think like the... The coup de gras or whatever it was, the big thing was a 2400 baud modem. I don't even know what baud stands for. And my friends and I, instead of getting on the phone to talk, we would dial each other up on our Commodore 64s or even Apple had come out at the time, and we would chat online. Chat rooms were big back then. I don't even know how or why they even worked because you couldn't keep up with anything. Guys were going in there to hook up with girls. Girls were going in there to hook up with guys. The, I mean, it was you couldn't even follow the thread. You know, if you're trying to talk to someone, it was hard to follow. But anyway, I digress, right? But I was blessed enough to be involved at the early stages of the internet. And it, I didn't really get involved with the internet until 98, 99, really. And look at where we are today. What I'm doing right now would cost millions of dollars to do to produce content like this. 
But let me just tell you, if there is a technical ability that you're struggling with, whether it's using Facebook or using YouTube or whatever it is, and I'm going to say this and I've said this a million times before, but people seem to not believe me. Whatever it is that you want to learn how to do, go to YouTube and type your question in. How do I use How do I make dot, dot, dot. How do I, whatever it is that you want to learn how to do on pretty much whatever platform there is, how do I produce video for Facebook? How do I do Facebook live? How do I do Instagram live? How do I, I, how do I make a YouTube video pop? How do I make YouTube thumbnails? What software do I use to make great thumbnails for YouTube videos? Like I see all these people making, how do I make great graphics for Instagram? Whatever it is that you don't understand technologically, whatever that is, the answers literally are on your phone. You're sitting waiting to pick your kids up. Okay, go on YouTube or go on Google. Okay, how do I or how do start the question? Ask the question. And it boggles my mind because I've said this for years now. Whatever you want to know, you can learn it on YouTube. Whatever you want to know, you can learn it on YouTube. But no one seems to follow that line of thinking. But if you choose to follow what it is that I'm trying to instruct you on now, if you have a technical block in any area of business development, I don't care if it's marketing, I don't, whatever it is, sales, how to do, how do I do sales online? How do I market online? How do I set up a Facebook ad? How do I, it's, it is all right there at your fingertips, but people are taking course after course after course and You're taking these courses in many cases and you don't have the ability to execute because the basics are not yet understood. And so it takes you longer and longer and longer to build a business with that. Uh, Let me just see something here. Okay, just wanted to make sure that was right. All right. So, excuse me. I'm going to take a short break right now, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to get into some specifics about how you can actually start building your business and what it is going to take in order for you to do that. Thanks for tuning in right here on my Instagram live stream as well as Conversations Radio Network. I'm going to take a short break and I will be right back. Get the book Align With Your Purpose by Earl Hall. Find and walk in your purpose. Get the answers to your questions about life and how to make it exactly what you want are in this book. This is your chance to stop living in a life you hate. Discover how to manifest the life you actually want. Get Align With Your Purpose now on Amazon, paperback, Kindle, or audiobook. What if you could stop all of your negative thoughts and your self-limiting beliefs and actually start to manifest the life that you want? You need Quantum Neural Manifestation Alignment, or QNMA. This is the ultimate accumulation of the best of the secret, as well as the incredible magic of meditation and hypnosis, all wrapped up in one. Go to the website now, officialqnma.com. That's officialqnma.com. Thanks, everyone, for keeping it locked right here on Align With Your Purpose. I'm your host, Earl Hall, broadcasting live on my Instagram feed, live stream, as well as on Conversations Radio Network. Make sure you visit the website, alignwithyourpurpose.co. Take advantage of everything that we've got going on there. Before the break, we were talking about People that are struggling with doing doing the technical things that need to be done online, you can be great at a skill. I do a lot of coaching of like voice actors, voiceover artists, and things of that nature. And there's a te- there's a skill that they have to be able to use their voice. But then there's a whole other thing. Just like in any business, you can be good at something. But being able to make a business around it is something that's completely different. It's something that is going to take a lot of effort and a lot of energy to be able to execute on. Not everyone is able to do this. But here's the thing about this. When you're looking to start a business and we're talking about the technical aspects of business development, marketing, sales, using your talent and all that other kind of stuff. 
If you've been in business for, let's just say, over a year at this point, things aren't going the way you want them to go. If things aren't going the way that you want them to go, right now is a time for you to look at yourself in the mirror and to become very self-aware of what's actually going on, about what's actually happening and why your business isn't where you want it to be. You've got to be honest with yourself. It's great to get inspiration to participate in the hoopla, watch people like Sonny Leonard Ducey and, uh, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk and all the, all the others that are out there that you may or may not know that you can watch to get inspiration and get business tips and helps from. But if you've been doing this a year or more and you're still not making money in doing the thing that you want to do or the thing that you love, let's just get honest. Can we be honest for a moment? Maybe this is not for you. Hard to say, probably harder to hear. Maybe this is not for you. That's one thing. There's some more. Maybe this is for you, but you aren't actually doing the things that need to be done in order to build this amazing thing that you're trying to build. There's a third thing. This isn't what you want to do. You're just trying to do it because you think it might be an easy way to make money or whatever. Now pick out where you are in that. Or there's a fourth thing. You don't need my help. You're good. Your business is blowing up and that's awesome and amazing. So those are the four things, right? So if you're in a spot right now where it's not going the way that you want to go. You're, you're at a decision-making point. I believe after a year in business, it's a, it's, a, it's a marker. It's a decision-making point. Why isn't this going the way that I thought it should go? Coming up in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a, actually a free webinar. I'm going to be doing a free webinar where I'm actually going to take the time to break this down because there are things that need to be broken down into chunks so many people that want to start businesses, they're trying to do everything at once. Serena Williams didn't become a pro tennis player just because she thought one day, I want to play tennis. There was a process in that. There was practice. There was understanding her equipment, understanding the court, understanding her own physicality, phys physiology or phys whatever the word is, her body, how it works, how strong she is. There were things and there were steps and there were things that her coaches from her father on to her professional coaches in tennis that they dealt with her one thing at a time. Michael Jordan didn't become a professional athlete in basketball just because he said he wanted to. As a matter of fact, he was cut from teams in school, not allowed to play on teams in school. One of the things that is so impressive to me about professional athletes, and you're going to get a real key point of what I'm about to say, they do the same thing over and over and over. And I'm not talking about play the sport. If you look at a Michael Jordan, free throws, whew, Hours at a time, free throws, free throws, getting it down, getting it down, getting it down. And he never stopped doing the basics. Some of you are trying to do professional level things and you haven't learned just the basics. You haven't mastered the basics yet. And when you start looking at your business as opposed to, as opposed to looking at your business as this big thing, but you start understanding how to break it down into the pieces that you have to accomplish or that you want to accomplish and desire to accomplish, it becomes so much easier and it becomes, it will become very, it will grow very fast once you start breaking it down into the pieces as opposed to trying to be a pro out of the gate. I see people talking about positivity and you know, the law of attraction, you know, I talk a lot about the law of attraction. I talk a lot about obviously aligning with your purpose and doing those things that will actually get you going. And I see these people talking about these things and some of these people I know, and they're not even living it yet. They're still struggling, but they're trying to teach you how to not to struggle or whatever. 
watch who it is that you're observing. And you can pretty much tell because if people come on a lot and they're complaining or, oh, things aren't going great today. Or they, well, wait a minute. You're supposed to be the positive. You're supposed to be attracting. You're supposed to be manifesting your life the way you want to. Why are you talking to me about the negative stuff going on in your life? Anyway, once you get to the point with whatever the thing is that you're going to be doing, once you get to the point where you start understanding how to break these things down into small bite-sized chunks, you'll be surprised at how quickly your business grows. You will be surprised at how quickly your business can grow because it's all determined. Your success or failure is 100% in your control. Your success or failure is 100% in your control. So like I said, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a free webinar talking about this in depth. So what I want you to do is make sure that you are following me on Instagram. Make sure that you you know follow the Facebook page by the same name, Align With Your Purpose. Join up for free at the website, alignwithyourpurpose.co, because I'm going to be starting to give out some information that is going to be very valuable for anyone that is looking to align with their purpose, start their business, and manifest the life that they actually want to manifest. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. I'll see you guys on tomorrow. You have an awesome and amazing Tuesday. Love you guys so much. Thanks for your support. Go grab the book, Align With Your Purpose, on Amazon.com right now. Paperback, Kindle, and audio version. You guys have an awesome and amazing day. Bye now.